You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. I gotta say right now, guys, that Deadpool Wolverine will beat Joker as the highest grossing Reddit all movie ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Butterverse, and Frozen 2, and Kim, Possible Fan 2001. And I know the Swifties it ain't gonna like this, but hey, it's what it is. Anyway, guys, so the first thing we're going to talk about for the news report by Nick Hicks, which is another thing we have to talk about Taylor Swift is not in Deadpool Wolverine, which I already know that I heard a bunch of rumor that Taylor Swift is going to be in Deadpool Wolverine as Lady Pool or the Dissa. But I gotta say right now, but Taylor Swift has officially confirmed that she said that she's not in Deadpool Wolverine, but she got a first, I mean, a, on the guy, she got a football game she had to go to, she got a concert she had to go to, she got so many songs that she, that she have to release, and she have to do a song for this film. So I can see why that she's not in, she's not in the actual Deadpool Wolverine, but she's not as Lady Pool or the Disco. But I gotta say, but I'm probably here pretty soon that Taylor Swift, if she's not doing anything, and then she become a MCU character. But right now, she's just doing the song for Deadpool Wolverine. But if she's not in in the MCU at all, yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, it's what it is. Some, I mean, some good things have to go sometimes. But honestly, guys, I'm probably you expecting me that I'm gonna bash of the Swifties out there, which people, I am not a type of person that I'm gonna bash to the Swifties. I'm not gonna send them death to it. Like, oh, sorry, like saying, go kill yourself, which I don't say that. I wasn't born yesterday, people. I'm not, sorry, I am not going to bash the Swifties, and I am not gonna tell them, go kill yourself, which I am not saying that, and not, honestly, that, sorry, that makes me sound like a hypocrite. Anyway, guys, that was my thought on Taylor Swift is not in Deadpool Wolverine. Am I mad or angry? Nah, I'm just a little bit disappointed because I really want, I really want to see Taylor Swift on the big screen because I haven't, sorry, I haven't seen her on the big screen since I saw Doctor Sister Lorax. Oh my God, I cannot stand that freaking movie. Anyway, anyway, let's move on to the this. Sorry, let's move on to Deadpool Wolverine content before I get triggered every time I talk about the worst Rumination movie ever. I think it's even worse than. Hop. Anyway, honestly, guys, that's enough talk about this news right now. I'm probably the Swifties out there are going to comment my video or going to be, sorry, going to be a butthood like the Swifties. Not everything, not, not everything about Taylor Swift, you get what you want. Honestly, guys, it can show that, honestly, it can show that the Swifties will get everything about Taylor Swift, but it's officially confirmed that she's not in Deadpool Wolverine. I just want you to calm down. I'm not trying to bash you. I'm not a type of guy. I'm a friendly guy. I'm a happy person. But I gotta say, just because she's not in the film, that doesn't mean this film will be bomb. But nope, this film will be a hit. But honestly, it will be a hit. And speak of the hit, honestly guys, I am hearing that Inside Out 2 is officially confirmed that it is now the highest Pixar movie ticket sale since Toy Story 4. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Pixar save, hallelujah. And guys, don't get excited for it because have you not won your lesson one time that we got excited about a box office production which is nothing in the Lightyear movie? Yeah, I'm probably you remember the Lightyear movie kid. On the guys, the Lightyear came out last year, I mean last year, and a lot of the critic in the audience did not like that film at all, but I'm sorry, which honestly, I do like that film, but I freaking hate the twist villain. The twist villain was absolutely stupid, I meant to say. But honestly, guys, just because you see a twist villain in that film, that doesn't mean the I mean, sorry. That doesn't mean the Lightyear movie is suck. Wait, come on. Like, come the freak on. I'm sorry. That film, that film is based on the Toy Story franchise. How that film is a bomb. Oh, oh, because they have the two lesbian girl kiss. Really, people? What the freak ever. But anyway... I give it to you right now that Inside Out 2 will make more money than Lightyear and some of the Pixar re-release movie which is other than so turning, I mean so Luca and turning red. So yeah. 
Honestly, guys, I I really, I really hope that Inside Out 2 will definitely say Pixel. Right now, Pixel is in the shuttle right now. So let's hope. Honestly, guys, I am still not looking forward to Toy Story 5. So after I heard that film is going to be directed by the same guy that he did of Finding Nemo. Guys, that make me, sorry. The other guy, that make me almost excited, but just because you have a Pixar legend to direct Toy Story 5, that doesn't mean that film will be a hit, right? Come on, have you not when you wrestling by Pete Doctor? I like Pete Doctor, but his comment of after Lightyear flop, yeah, that was not a good sign, and that's not Pete Doctor I know and like. Which, call, sorry, call them, sorry, call, call them a woke because they didn't care about Lightyear? That's not P. Doctor. That's a bad version of P. Doctor, dude. Honestly, guys, P. Doctor will never, I will be never say that to the fan base, and I'm very sorry to say the C word. I'm very sorry. Oh, excuse me, sorry. But honestly, guys, just let me know why I say the C word, or else this video will be demonetized. Rest in peace. But honestly, uh, honestly guys, that was my thought of Inside Out 2. It's officially confirmed that. Uh, that this film is the highest Pixar sale, I mean Pixar movie ticket sale since Toy Story 4. That is the good news, even I don't really care about Toy Story 4, I just seriously thinking that is the third most overrated movie of 2019. Second is Good Boys, and number one is the Angry Bird movie too. I honestly do not like the Angry Bird movie too. I would have watched the first film instead of watching the sequel. So hey guys. Honestly, yeah, that was my thought of Inside Out 2 is the highest, highest movie, Pixar movie, ticket sales since Toy Story 4. I hope this film will be a hit, but I won't be watching this film on June 14th, or, sorry, because it's my surgery. Because, honestly, yeah, just pray for me. I will be just fine. I'm a, sorry, I'm a grown man. And we have to talk about these, I'm sorry, these poster, these epic, brilliant masterpiece poster based on Deadpool Wolverine. This is a, sorry, this is a Deadpool Wolverine content, so kids, get out of this video because this video, sorry, this movie is not for kids. Don't, don't want your kids to watch it. Yeah, I do not want your kids to watch Deadpool 3 because just because you have an MCU, that doesn't mean this film will be kid friendly. No, this film will be dirty and nasty for kids audience. But anyway. We have to talk about we have to talk about this IMAX poster of Deadpool Wolverine. So let's start off with the IMAX poster. I only know that this is gonna be the laziest poster ever. But if you zoom it, they have some rubber band, which is pretty decent. So you guys, and we got Deadpool rubber band that said IMAX, and for Wolverine, they say IMAX. That is really clever. You just seriously taking a teaser poster from the reference to Logan, and then you just you just you just did something um, uh, creative like this. That is pretty cool, honestly. This is even better than my than my movie feeder poster of Bestie, which I draw and I post on Instagram, which those photos looks pretty cool. But I gotta say, Deadpool Wolverine just beat me. Yeah, honestly, guy, my IMAX poster that has some girls screaming and my IMAX poster. Yeah, it's gonna be a horror movie, kid. Just do not watch my movie on my very first movie. But honestly, guys, this IMAX puzzle is absolutely incredible. It's absolutely clever because you just seriously, you're taking the teaser puzzle of Deadpool Wolverine and making it a really clever way. So, not bad, IMAX. Not bad at all. So, I'll give you like a 10 out of 10. And for God's sake, we have to talk about these dopey cinema puzzle of Deadpool Wolverine. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what this poster remind me of? This poster remind me of of the one movie starring Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson. I'm sorry, Jack Nicholson. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Which another in the movie called The Angry Management. Honestly, guys, I'm probably if you don't know what that movie is. Honestly, guys, the movie called The Angry Management starring Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson, all giving Adam Sandler. I mean, to calm down, which that film is absolutely funny, honestly. But honestly, guys, this is the funniest poster I have ever seen by the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which this poster is absolutely incredible, absolutely genius, and they have Hugh Jackman have the same impression, just like Jack Nicholson. He could be a next Jack Nicholson after I see this poster. Yeah, you can show that this film would definitely have a Jack Nicholson reference. Man, man, can you not believe that you see a day come that the MCU is going to be the very first rated R movie with another than Deadpool 3? Man, being an MCU fan is so way better than the DC fan. And we have to talk about the 40X poster, which how are we supposed to know how I, how the heck I supposed to know that what is 40X? 
You know what 4DX is? Hmm? Hmm? Let's think about it. Honestly, guys, I have no idea what the heck is 4DX is. So, if people, just let me know in the comment. Because I was a born yesterday. I'm not stupid. But honestly, guys, this poster is absolutely funny. Just like, dopey poster. But honestly, guys, this poster is absolutely funny and heartwarming. What's that then? Deadpool is leaning on Wolverine's shoulders. And honestly, guys, and he is really funny when Wolverine looking at Deadpool. He was like, oh, for God's sake, get off of me, Deadpool. I don't like you. I gotta say, but this film is gonna be like Hop and Sean. But this time, it's gonna be Deadpool Wolverine style of Hop and Sean. But honestly, guys, that was my thought on this poster. Let's start off with the other poster, which I actually, I actually, I think is quibbled. Honestly, guys, and then we have the poster of Screen X. I gotta say, this is a pretty Pretty cool Don poster. I would definitely get that poster. We had Deadpool Wolverine walking from the fire. And oh boy, be careful about that doggy. That doggy is so cute. Do not burn that dog in movies. Honestly, guys, if I see a animal fuse in this film, you know what I'll do? Nothing. 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 Please don't kill dog in movies and make yourself look so stupid. But honestly, guys, this is a really cool poster. I even know they copied the fun friends from the trailer, which is. Honestly, guys, it makes sense, honestly. It makes sense. So, anyway, guys, I love this poster. Definitely. Definitely do not watch this film on screen X, or else I'll get a freaking headache. And we got a Rudy 3D poster of Deadpool Wolverine. Honestly, guys, in this poster, we got Wolverine raining on the car, and Deadpool raining on the car while he's holding the belt. And he say, shh. And that sign said, no spoiler. So people, don't give away fake spoiler. I mean, not on your lesson since the Avengers Endgame, which is the movie that came out like, hmm, came out like five years ago. People, just don't do that, okay? Just don't do that. Just don't give away fake spoiler of Deadpool die or whatever, I'm sorry, or Wolverine die. Please don't do that. Make, sorry, and make yourself like a freaking hypocrite. Honestly, guys, I will definitely not see this film on Will D3D, but the only screen I'm going to see it, which is another thing, I would see this film on Dopey Cinema. And I would dip, sorry, I would definitely, definitely get this funny poster. This is the funniest poster I have ever seen. This is a, this is a anger management reference, but this time you had Deadpool Wolverine. We got, Wolver sorry. And then we got Deadpool's trying to be like Adam Sandler, and we got Hugh Jackman trying to be like, uh, Jack Nicholson. So let's move on to the other poster. But honestly, guys, and we got some real D3D poster. This poster works really incredible. It has some broken call, which I would not buy that broken call. <laughs> honestly, guys, I would not buy that broken call because that call would damage. So the last poster we have to talk about for the days, which is another then we have these awesome poster of the drawing of Deadpool loving, loving heart on Wolverine. And we got Wolverine do some ang angry, I mean, angry face, and we got a dog being cute like always, and we got a broken car flying in the air, and we got some boom, an explosion, and honestly, guy, in this film is, I'm sorry, in this poster is from, uh, um, uh, the Fingo, I mean, Fingo, I gotta say, this is the best poster I ever seen for Fango. And this has to be one of the best drawings I ever seen by Deadpool since the first film. So, yeah, that was my thought on these on this epic, epic, brilliant masterpiece exclusive poster of, um, of the IMAX, Dopey Cinema, 4DX, Screen X, Rudy 3D, and Fango. So the last news we're going to talk about for today for this news report by Nick Hicks, which, nice to meet you. Which another thing we have to talk, sorry, wait, I'll say, which another thing we have to talk about the first work of the Kent Farm, from... From Jim Gunn movie, which is another than the Superman. Aren't the guy? They are almost done making the movies, and they are they are in the half sorry halfway done for the film. Which time to go fast, isn't it, guys? But anyway, guys, on the guy I gotta say, but this is a pretty cool Kent farm. But on once again, it's not the best Kent farm. On the guys, I seriously doubt that the Kent farm from Superman Lois or Smallfield. Or even Man of Steel is even better than this Kent farm. But I gotta say, a lot of fan base, ugh, this fan, sorry, this fandom is so stupid. But honestly, they hate this because it's a farm. Do you honestly think that you're gonna see a Superman to have, to have a mansion? It can show that this fandom is so stupid. I guess that I would've, I would've put up with the Swifties instead of the fandom 
of Superman. But now you got, we have to read a idiotic post that someone did on Twitter, which honestly, this is why Twitter is toxic. But I still get that because of the news report. But anyway, let's read it with my funny voice. Can't even get the freaking farmhouse right. Frick this movie I miss. I mean, I miss when Lex Luthor was crapping in my jaw. What the frick? Thirty million dollar budget, and this is the production. Hashtag fire James Gunn and Peter Soft one. Hashtag boycott WB and hashtag fire James Gunn. <laughs> People, you evil pieces of crap. And bruh, even the farmhouse and trash from was full looks good to compare it to this. People, you cannot be that stupid. You cannot compare it to the camp farm in this film to compare it to one of the what sorry to one of the second worst Michael Bay movies behind with the revenge of sorry revenge of farming which is not in the, the farmhouse from Transformers 4. Please do not compare it to this house and to Transformers 4. Which is the second worst Transformers movie ever, which you know what it is. I ain't gonna say it. It was born ten years ago, and I ain't gonna sorry, and I ain't gonna say that freaking movie. You know what it is. I ain't gonna say it. So people, how freaking dare you that you compare it to Kent Farm to the farmhouse from Transformers Four? This is this is even stupider that people that people compare it to Princess Peach to Raya from Rise of Skywalker. He can show that this media is so freaking stupid. Okay, it was weighted with my no bad language. Sorry, no, no bad language. This is all just so cheap. How come? How come none of this crap is linking while shooting? Also, as the ass would and more in the highway done now. This fandom is stupid. And once again, we're almost done with this. Budget is so low. They made the classic one store this house of the of the pine shop. Oh my god, people shut your mouth. Andy last not read people saying this. What a downgrade from the two that came before. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this fan base. I'm done with the Snyder Cortis, and I am done with the nonsense. Sorry, guys, yeah, that was my first sorry. And on the guys, that was my thought. On the first work of the Kent Farm from Jim Gunn, Superman. Not bad, Kent Farm, but the hate is absolutely unnecessary. Like, Susie, you're gonna, honestly, you're gonna hate this film because of the house? It's just freaking how this is, this is not a real, this is, on the other end, just like Doom said, this is a, this is a factual farm, you freaking, you freaking ding bag, you freaking idiot. So yeah, that was my news report by Nick Hicks. So let me show a Deadpool Wolverine poster. Okay, what is a good one? Ah, there it is. That is a good one. So yeah, that was my news report by Nick Hicks, which never did tell so it's not in the MCU. Sorry, not in Deadpool Wolverine. Inside Out 2 is becoming the highest, highest Pixar movie ticket sales since Toy Story 4. And we got the epic and funny poster of Deadpool Wolverine, like always. And and on the end then we just got done talking about the first work of the Kent Farm from James Gunn, Superman, and a lot of people are just starting to hate on it, hating on it for no stupid reason. It can show that someone is getting hate, getting hate for no stupid reason. So do you understand that? Do you understand that you're gonna try your best to destroy Superman? It can show that you guys are not a real Superman fan. And it can show that you guys didn't even wear the freaking comment for the rest of your freaking life. So, hey guys, if you enjoyed this Deadpool Wolverine content, if you want to see more of this awesome video, please, I highly recommend you to hit the subscribe button, turn notification, and share it with your whole family. Now, you excuse me, I'm going to take my legs off for the night, and I am done for the night. Anyway, guys, and we'll, on the guys, it will be video for tomorrow morning, but I won't make any of the media posts. Um, um, uh, tomorrow afternoon because I'm going to be out with my job coach. So, yeah. And on the guys, and on Wednesday, on me, and on, on me, on Wednesday morning, stay tuned for my Lego video, which I'm going to do a Deadpool video, which I really hope Preston would definitely do that. Like, it's going to be 
Deadpool, meet Maleficent, right? Going out of the portal and meet Maleficent and Maleficent as a dragon, which it will be a perfect timing for the 10th anniversary of Maleficent starting in a jury. And it's going to be a perfect timing for Deadpool Wolverine, right? Seeing Deadpool, Maleficent, crossover. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, that was my video for the night. Sorry. That was my video for the night, and this is the only video you're going to get. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more of this, Wolverine and Deadpool trying to be like Adam Simmel and Jack Nicholson, but, sorry, from the movie called Anger Management, mixed to Hop and Sean, please, I highly recommend you to hit the subscribe button, turn notification, and share the first your whole family. So, if, honestly, guys, if any Deadpool Wolverine video you want me to do, like the marketing and some of the trailer, I will definitely do that right away. Sorry, guys. That was my video, so don't pay me. Don't pay me, MCU. Don't pay me. Sorry, guys. All right, guys. Have a great night, everyone. And i see you guys next time. And tomorrow, stay tuned for my movie rant to one of the worst Garfield movies i ever seen in my freaking life. Which is not in the Garfield movie by Bill, I mean, by Bill Movie. Oh, my God. I do not want to think about that movie. Please, please get that out of my misery. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for my movie rant on the Garfield movie back in 2004, leading up to the Garfield anime movies. And I am and I am not bothered to, to do a rant on the Garfield 2. I am not interested to talk about that freaking movie, so yeah. Alright, guys, and when, on Wednesday, stay tuned for my Deadpool video of the Lego version of Deadpool. So, cannot wait to do that video. And on Thursday, stay tuned for my last video, which I will be taking a break doing YouTube videos. So, I might do a... I might do a news, I mean, I might do a news video about my, um, um, about, shoot, about my, um, about my surgery update, so, stay tuned for that, I might take, sorry, I might take some time, sorry, time off of this video, but on Thursday, it's gonna be the last day of the video, and on Friday, on Friday, I won't, sorry, I won't, I won't do any video at all, because, I'm because I'm going to get my surgery done, and I'm going to be just fine. So, pray, just, honestly, guys, just pray for me. Pray for me. It's a lot better than bash me. Sorry, guys. This is Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Cam Possible Fan 2001, signing out. And you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And once again, yadios, and good night.